So after Jesus had been on trial and the people who on Palm Sunday had cried out Hosanna, instead cried out crucify him, Jesus was sentenced to the most cruel death possible at the time, crucifixion. But first Jesus was whipped with a painful whip until blood poured from the wounds on his back and sides. And he was stripped of his clothes and given a, a crown of thorns to wear on his head, pushing big, painful thorns into his head. And a group of soldiers mocked him and spat on him and hit him. And then he was led away to be crucified. Jesus was so exhausted and in such excruciating pain that he couldn't even carry his own cross. So the soldiers forced someone who was walking nearby, Simon of Cyrene, to carry Jesus' cross for him. And Jesus would lead off to make the long, lonely walk up a hill called Golgotha, which was just outside the city walls where he was to be crucified. So now as you climb to the top of the British Camp Hill for the next bit of the story, as you do, I want you to think about that walk that Jesus made. Imagine the pain he was in. Imagine his blood pouring down his face and back and side. Imagine the loneliness of that walk and think that Jesus did this for you. And as you walk, I want to invite you to pick up a stone. And as you carry the stone to think of some of those mistakes, the bad things you've done in the past, the things that you're ashamed of and don't want anyone to know, the things that you've done which have made God sad, you see, that was why Jesus was making that walk, so that you wouldn't have to carry those mistakes, those things that the Bible calls sin any longer. So hold on to the stone until you get to the very top of the hill and we'll continue with the story there.